possibilities his life could have, as I did. Or has fate made other choices for us? If we are to stray from our predetermined path, our salvation requires sacrifice. Did you receive the transmission from Maya Sundresh? What did she mean when she said she'd find our Golden Age? As a Golden Age AI myself, I observe a negligible intersection between Maya's current behavior and the relative utopia of that time. There was peace. We turned our focus to the stars, but we weren't conquerors. We were explorers, scientists, adventurers. We reached into the unknown, not to control it, not because we were commanded to, but because we had hope. That feeling was a long time ago, but I'll never forget it. And I'm not getting any of that from Maya. Captain, I have overridden the Vex security around the scene of your last confrontation. The coordinates are standing by. If you find Maya, Tell her I reject her entire premise, and then destroy her. Guardian, the Conductor has diverted the flow of Radiolaria to the planet's core. We know her goal. We must uncover her method. It seems a contingent of Shadow Legion has taken interest in Sandoresh's plans. What end, and under whose command, we do not know. Outpace them.
I can only speculate as to the Shadow Legion's motivations. We have seen allies sublimated into the Vex network. It takes great strength of will to maintain a distinct identity within it. The Echo grants that strength of will. We have seen it firsthand in the Conductor's presence. And we've stopped Scion incursions into the Nessus Vex Collective before. The Shadow Legion wants the same thing we do. Sanderesh is creating pluralities within the Vex minds, instigating individuality within her collective. Until now, each Vex collective was guided by one mind, acting in unison. Maya has turned a collective into a community. It makes them unpredictable. Our tactics must change accordingly.
Ishtar buildings. Here. Are the Vex establishing facilities as reconstructions of Sundaresh's memories? Taking comfort in the familiar, and forcing the Vex to give her what she needs. Sounds like Maya. from Neptune. That was Geoma Essie. What did Maya do? She's searching for something. Using Chioma as a baseline to find our golden age among the simulations. This is horrific. I'm afraid this is just the beginning. Sandoresh is a mass of formidable Vex force. But now we can only delay her plans. Guardian, take this opportunity to strike. Sandoresh is doing more than commanding the Vex. She's taking control of an entire collective and using Radiolaria to search the Vex simulation network. Our golden age and her understanding must exist within it. And Shioma. A means to an end. A way to measure reality. A heart weighed against a feather. Could Maya find what she's looking for? I don't know. That is not the question at the front of my mind. That question is only... What will happen if she does? Return to the Helm, Guardian. I need time to think over what we found here. Never trust anyone who tries to justify their actions for the greater good. There are hundreds of copies of Maya Sundaresh in the Vex simulation network. She knows that there's nothing we can learn from the Vex that would bring us closer to our golden age. Those times are behind us. We're here, and we have what we need. No. What Maya wants is control. And for now, she has exactly that. She has an agenda more personal than a golden age. She always does. You saw her experiments. 
She's iterating. Using the Vex. Using Chioma. We lost so much to the Collapse. But this path won't lead us to anything but more loss. Guardian, work with Failsafe to get back inside Maya's facility in the center of Nessus. With more data, we can uncover her secrets. And put an end to her search. Okay, Captain. If we're going to bring any kind of fight to the Conductor, I'll need to reclaim some of my original Exodus Black tech. Hello, Guardian. Failsafe asked that I take over briefing duties while she works on her research. We were speaking earlier. She had disengaged her filter, so she used her... Uh, rain cloud voice. And she asked how it felt when I took the memories of the other saint. I told her it was like... becoming more myself. That saint and me. We are the same, but there was one important difference. You, Guardian, the other saint, he died alone. But I met you after Osiris sent you to find me. You gave me hope in my darkest time. I fought to live up to your example. That is how I survived, and slowly I... Found I was no longer living for you. You were good to have around, do not misunderstand, but uh, I was living for me. I told this to Failsafe, and she was quiet for a long time. Then she said she had to feed her frog, and I left. But I think it was a good talk. It's not too late to accept. Everything I do is for the sake of a second golden age. A return to what we have all lost. The witness's failure showed that homogeny is fragile. Strength rises from individuality. It rejected the lesson of its own memory. Commander Takao's strength was their individual perspective. Their skill at directing an army. Not a hive mind. The echo of command and I were equally shapeless before we joined. It reformed my consciousness even as I made it into my mantle. Power joined to individual will. This is the key. Commander Takal lacked one. And the witness lacked the other. I hold both. With the echo, I encouraged my Vex's individuality. I commanded your ally. With more application, could anything lie beyond my reach? I have the will and power to create a new golden age. I am no tyrant. The conductor listens to her course. Join it and be heard. 
I'm sure we'd both prefer you make that choice for yourself. But believe me, that isn't necessary. Listen, Guardian. I was thinking hard about how to beat the Conductor, and Osiris stopped me. He said the Conductor is very strong and has abilities we cannot stand against. But, he said, maybe we can beat Maya Sandrash. Osiris told me the story of Maya, how she was lost in the Vex network, split into hundreds of copies, until the powers of the Echo brought her to life. The Conductor is one of those copies. Could be the first one, could be all of them smashed together. Maybe she does not even know herself. But Osiris says all Mayas are scientists, and we can see her thoughts in her experiments. We must find what she is trying to do. Failsafe has located pieces of tech to help you study the exobodies in Maya's laboratory. If we can learn what Maya is doing with those, maybe we can think of a way to stop her. Brains, not brawn, yes? The Conductor has that pile of exo-frames down in her lab. She was using them to host consciousnesses. I've been trying to figure out why, and then it hit me. Inconclusive. I need control data from other exos, and Europa's a great place to find some. is good data. Yeah, I think I can almost decrypt another one of the conductor's exos. All I need now is a cerebral host matrix. One of the classic brain models. Could you help me out, Captain? All right, I'm sure there's a host matrix around here. market for you. I'm way better at finding stuff since you upgraded me. Thanks for that, by the way. Got it. If you're ready, we can head back into the conductor's lab. The exo frame she's working on down there have got to be key to the golden age she keeps talking about. We just need to uncover their secrets before she kills us all. We must gain access to Sandresh's facility once again. With the data Failsafe has collected, we can better determine Sandresh's use of the exo-consciousnesses within the Vexnet. The Conductor seeks to assimilate all of Sol under her command. She desires a golden age. But what does she really mean? With her methods, I do not assume benevolence. All I know is that it would undo everything we have accomplished since the collapse. We cannot allow this. Your research into the Vex systems bears fruit. Learn what you can. Perhaps something useful may be extracted with further investigation.
Maya is diverting Radiolaria to search the Vex simulation network. Peering into other timelines, trying to find our own past. And to that end, raising an army of her own collective to subsume Sol. She can use her Echo to control Vex, but these are under her command completely. She's converting them to serve her. <sighs> Do they even know what they're doing? To dot five nine. Have you been able to raise team dot nine seven? Their Geoma was handling the SE statistics. Let me know immediately if she responds. I'm getting worried. Calling any other Ishtar orphans from Variation Gamma of the Pink Sky World. I'm here with Dot 33 Shim and two Chiomas. Dot 27 and one who isn't sharing a number. If you're looking for a place, we've got one. We'll figure this thing out together. Thunderous's youth to Chioma prefigures a dangerous compromise. We knew that she was capable of stepping beyond the bounds of ethics in her experimentation, but now we know the extent. A threat is serious and imminent. Sunrise, Surio Day. Because your mother called you that. Because it reminded you she was gone. That she missed the happiest day of your life. And, and and I touched your cheek. And I told you there's always another sunrise. Even after we see it set. The gaussing exomite. Sentimentality is higher than expected variance. Sanderesh... is bringing copies of her wife, Chioma Essi, out of the Vexnet. Finding them, interrogating them, and... discarding them. For her golden age? No. No, perhaps... what would be her own personal golden age. The wife she remembers. The one from her own simulation. And Maya will destroy Sol to find her. I have decrypted the data contained in the signal. 227.97. To all teams, I've crunched the numbers. We're losing Essies at rates even higher than Maya's during the Sundaresh incident. Stay inside of your team at all times, Geomas. Don't get separated. Dot 65. 
Attrition levels are holding steady for Sandrush, Shim, Dwayne McNeil, and our singular friend. It's only Chioma's vanishing. We lost a few Sandrushes. Too many asses. If the pattern continues, we could lose every Shim and Dwayne McNeil. I suspect your Shim is swearing in a corner like mine is. Talk to him. We can't give in to despair. Sandoresh has recreated her caretaker. We face the same threat as before, and I do not believe it will be the last. Sandoresh convinced herself that she could never have loved this Chioma at all. Not this one. And not the others. But this Chioma loved Maya. We heard it. I am sorry for doubting. For believing the Conductor for even one moment. I am so sorry, Osiris, for doing that to you. Now, Saint, don't apologize, you. You were forgiven from the first. Guardian, I can now confirm. Every exoframe in Maya's lab once held the consciousness of Maya's wife, Chioma Essi. Each a, a different version, pulled from the Vex network. Uploaded, judged, found wanting, and eliminated. Guardian, there are details about Maya Sandres I kept from Saint. He did not need to know the cruelty of the hands that touched his mind, or how much they reminded me of my own. But today, I saw a reflection of myself had I lost my way. If I never found Saint, and instead wrapped myself in obsession, I thought myself heroic in my search. A romantic. And that I was justified by my success. But what if I had not realized my good fortune? If I had met Saint, not with relief, but with skepticism, to imagine myself finding Saint, deciding he is wrong, Killing him, and then starting again, it would have broken me, and I believe it has broken Maya. One capable of such horror has defiled the concept of love. Do not forget what you're dealing with. Guardian, we have managed to decrypt another personal log taken from Maya Sanderis's domain. At first, we discovered the method of her search, but we were mistaken as to what she was looking for. Now we understand. Here, listen. Maya Sandrush. Personal luck. Incidental. The variances have been outside of acceptable bounds on each attempt. Incomplete or divergent memories. Outsized or diminished emotional responses. These forgeries are not my tomb. Oh, the memories are baseline. There are other timelines that mirror this one so closely that my interrogation would not, by itself, yield my tomb. They all loved me. They all remembered the name of our daughter. That isn't. 
Tilmar would understand what I'm doing here. All she needs to do is look at the state of soul since our time on New Mona. The mistake of the collapse. Clovis's hubris. The revelation of the witness. My Chilma would see me as a savior. And that she and I have a chance to rescue humanity from itself. Do you see? She's a Pygmalion carving her love from the Vex, too obsessed with her sculpture's perfection to see that the flaws lie within herself. She doesn't remember Chihoma. No more than she remembers the Golden Age. Their memories clouded by ego and need far removed from the real. Chioma will die a thousand deaths before Maya realizes her love is conditional. But perhaps we can find her real Chioma. And she can convince Maya of her error. The Conductor waits at the core of Nessus, working to awaken the planet and consume us in a flood of radiolaria. All in the name of her Golden Age, where she reunites with Chioma. Guardian, we cannot fight against the Echo of Command. But I think we could find Chioma. The Chioma Maya thinks of as hers. Failsafe believes she could isolate a signature using Chioma's original logs on Neomuna. Maya is still confined to the Nessus network, so that information remains out of her reach. It's the only advantage we've got. If we took that signature back to the lab, we could succeed where Maya has failed. Listen, I won't put another life in Maya's hands, not after what she's done. But if anyone could make her understand, it would be the one Chioma she's been searching for. I realize this is a long shot. Failsafe has prepared a contingency plan in case this goes wrong. One way or another, the Conductor's search ends now. Captain, the Veil Terminal on Neomuna should hold a trace of the Chioma Essie the Conductor thinks of as hers. If I attune to it, I can match its frequency and find the corresponding Chioma in the Conductor's lab. I think. Then we can pull that Chioma's consciousness through. I think. And then she can talk the Conductor out of murdering us. I think. I've isolated the signal. It's one of hundreds, but it's the same as the Conductor. I'm ready to carry out Ikora's orders. But first, we need a plan B. Take me to an active Vex network node on Neomuna. I have an idea. Guardian, you venture into Sandoresh's domain once again, but now I have a word of caution. I know how Saint felt when the Conductor called to him. I recognize it from when Sabathun had her hold over me. Thoughts that are not your own, flashes of another consciousness encroaching on yours, and soon rattling against the bars of your own mind. Even as you try to ask forgiveness for what you have been made to do, I feel it again. The Conductor grows more dangerous each passing moment. We cannot know the extent of the Echo's power until we see it for ourselves. I know it will not end with the Vex or with Saint. It will end with us all. Go, Guardian. We must finish this before we too are compelled.
Our calibrations on Yamuna will allow us to locate Chioma within the Vex net. But even if we succeed and find the version of Chioma that Sandras is searching for, I, I'm not certain it will be enough. But we shall see. I can only hope that my fears are unfounded. Even if Sandoresh feels eternally at her goal, she will eat away at our reality until it is subsumed by her vex. We learned of her methods with the Veil. Each successive experiment, another step towards her own oblivion. We've isolated the signature for Dr. Essie's consciousness from Neo Muna. Her Chioma could convince Maya to end this. Her Chioma stood by and watched it happen before. Sandoresh has brought Cabal under the Echo's power. Her mastery is growing. This will be our only chance to end the threat and secure the Echo. Chioma Essie, from our own past, here, dead. She's been thrown away too. Does Maya know what she's done? Fidelity test. When did you first tell me you loved me? I wish I could remember a time I loved you. Elaborate. I watched the woman I loved whittle herself away. Compromise by compromise. And I stood by you in each atrocity. Now all I see in front of me is a monster. Not my sunrise. I'm trying to save you. You're not my Chioma. If you were her, you would understand. Dugasi. I am her. What I am not is your personal delusion. You like all the others. Scared and shallow-minded. Degossing examined. Emotional fidelity test failed. She found her Chioma and discarded her like all the rest. That was my fear. Maya knows what she's become. There is no version of her wife who would accept her as she is now. <laughs> Sandoresh is so shrouded by her own obsession that she did not even recognize the Chioma from her own simulation. But she'll keep searching, murdering Chioma again and again trying to find someone who's already dead. If just for that, she must be stopped. I am ready. Is that a wise course of action, Osiris? Sandoresh, you are obsessed. Can't you see that? You already found your Chioma. You've destroyed my work. And now you're coming for me. So be it. 
Guardian, I will stand with you. I know who I am. She won't command me again. Maya will never listen to us. We have to try. There is no walking back from what she's done to Chioma Essie. We must give her a choice. She can still surrender. I'll be by your side when she doesn't. Drag me down to bleed in the mud with you. How many die to find the Chioma you call yours? Even then, you cast her aside. You think that facsimile, that copy, was my Chioma? With fear behind her eyes? No. Not mine. Splitting hairs to justify murder? You sound like Clovis. Oh, an emotional assessment. Life is prototypes and iterations. Each past you relative to you now. Third dimensional beings struggle with this concept. No more words. Surrender! Why? How will you compel me if I refuse? Put it down, Icor. Honestly. The rest of you, lay down your arms. Thank you. Now, come drink your fear. Let me change your mind. You can choose to end this differently. Let this obsession go! Choice is the ego raging against the inevitable. You may not see your choice. But I make my own fate! I command you! Not this time. Captain, I am quite pleased that you are alive. My planetary scans reveal that the Vex machinery within Nessus is dormant once again. Perhaps learning the truth about Chioma caused Maya to question her own judgment and halt her plans for galactic domination. Or maybe she changed her mind when Saint Unit and Ikora blasted the paint off her chassis. <laughs> Either way, she has vanished into the Vex network. I will continue monitoring Nessus, but I believe we can celebrate a successful mission. Well, you can celebrate, at least. I was part of a crew again, and now it's over. I don't like goodbyes. Hmm. You know, I thought I'd be sadder. Usually when I'm alone, it's like, whoever left turned off the lights behind them. It gets real dark. But now, there's still a little brightness left. It's not coming from you, or Saint Unit, or Captain Jacobson. I guess... It's me. I think, maybe, I can keep going... Just for me. See you around, Captain. Thanks for everything. You found traces of Maya, Guardian? <laughs> so she still lives, hidden somewhere in the Vax network. I hope she will abandon her terrible search for her lost Chioma. But I fear she may be beyond reason. Maya wanted everything just so. But people do not always fit cleanly into a frame. <laughs> 
They spill out over the edges. That beautiful mass is what makes us who we are. If you demand only perfection, you will end up alone. For no one is perfect. Of course, some of us are closer than others. Ha! Hi, Joe. I know who I am. I accept myself and all my flaws. And to me, I am enough. You understand what I am saying, Failsafe? I understand, say unit. I'm not gonna do a little speech about it, but I understand. Hmm. Good enough. Guardian, I hope the helm isn't too crowded. A broad audience would make this difficult. I miss Cade every day of my life. I thought I'd moved on. I was wrong. I can't forget my friend, my teammate, my favorite jerk. Death cuts a wound in the living. It scabs over, but anything can tear it open again. We all bear this wound eventually. The Maya Sundaresh who became the conductor couldn't accept that. She wanted her wife back, no matter how much she hurt Tioma doing it. Her actions were dangerous. Beyond that, they were cruel to the woman she loved. There's nothing I want more than to speak with Kate again. The pale heart gave us a second chance. It wasn't enough. The burden of the living is that life continues, despite our grief. Despite those who don't continue with us. The troubled Osiris to see his drive reflected in Maya. I see myself in her grief. I see Zavala. And yet it's not grief we condemn, but her actions. I always find I learn best by teaching. Thank you, Guardian, for being a patient student. to understand its gravitas. You were offered the age you fought to restore. Everything we've lost, you won't find it on this narcissist station. I will set it in front of you. Finely crafted and tuned. You mistakenly label it hubris and resist. As you know, Failure is a catalyst. It breeds invention. Would you comprehend the endless permutations of our conversation on the riverbank? I was only trying to change your mind. To help you see a better future. That exchange did not always end in your favor. It does not have to still. You believe my ideology virulent. All right. Know that I have bled across time and under the skin of the cosmos. My knowledge became its fabric, filled its vessels through its minds. Humanity is scattered, yet to see a collective focused but in this infinite network, the Vex have created. There is one answer. A golden timeline. With a heavy cost. Guardian. There is still more to be found here, deep in the core of Nessus, and the Vex commanded by Maya Sandresh linger here. Eliminate them. The Vex node. 
an access point into their simulation network. Lisa had another nightmare. Again? What was it this time? She doesn't know how to describe it. She only says she's alone and no one can see her. Tonight, read her something to help her sleep. She misses you. I will. I miss her too. There are hundreds of copies of Chioma and Maya within the Vex network. We're glimpsing some that were untouched by the conductor. A bottle of port? What for? It's our anniversary. Oh, oh, Chioma. It's all right. I knew you'd forget. So, I remembered for the both of us. Put your work away, Maya. Just for now. I'm cooking. Come join me. And your insomnia? A little better. Maybe. Sometimes. It doesn't matter. It does. You're in pain. I don't want to see you in pain. It's not important right now, not with everything. It is. You're just as important as anything else. There. Through the telescope. I have calibrated it. You can see. Earth. We won't be able to see it for much longer. There's a point on Neptune's orbital path where it won't be visible, even with our equipment. Maybe that's a good thing. Just let it fade among the heavenly bodies. <laughs> what? Is the only planet that isn't a heavenly body. Well, it is now. Maya. Maya, what's wrong? Chioma, I didn't mean to wake you up. You're pacing again. I just can't stop thinking about what we had to leave behind. We're still here. Surya Day, my sunrise. Come back to bed. There is no sunrise here. Only twilight. Then you will be my brightest star. Do you remember those gigantic sunflowers your mother grew? Yes. Why? I always looked at those and thought of you. But now, I think these ones here remind me of you, too. Really? But these are so small. They hardly get any light on this planet. But they're here, and alive. And that's a miracle, isn't it? Just a little to the right. How much? This is heavy. My grandmother painted it. A little more to the right. Oh, oh too much. Left. Stop. Stop. Perfect. It's not too close to the window. No. Well. Hmm. Now that you say so. No, no, it's exactly where it should be. <sighs> it's beautiful, Maya. All the versions of us simulated by the Vax. What are their lives like? Are they happy? Are we still together? 
probably safe at home or exploring Saw. Yes, we are all of it simultaneously. Forever. Is that so frightening? No. It's wonderful. We'll live our fullest lives, together and apart. I love that. 